Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn user authentication using the MySQL, Node.js, Express and the JWT. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let's create the folder over here. So here I go with this one. So let me go out of this. Okay, so here MySQL JWT. Let's go to the folder. Okay, let's install this packages. First, initiate with the packet.json file. Okay, now we are going to install the express MySQL 2 and the PyCrypt JSON web token. Let's install this. After this, we have to create the following file. So let's create this. So once it's installed, let me open the code over here. VS code. Okay, so here we have opened the base code. Let's create the file dp.js. <coughs> so let me create the file dp.js. Now create auth.js authentication logic. Okay, so here auth.js, then app.js file. Okay, main application file. So here we go with this one. So let's create this one. This is done. Let's go with the db.js file. So let's create this one. So here we go with this one. Let's add this connection. So localhost username mm, that is root. Password is like this. Okay, then database. I'm going to use test db. Okay, next we have a app. This is done, db.js, then we have auth.js file. So let's add the data over here. So here we are using the rest of the code. Router. Okay. So here we have the full-fledged code is added. Let's go and add. I think there is verify token part is there. This is not added. Let me add this also. I think I have written down over here. No, I think uh, I need to take it from the back one. So here we have an app.js file. Let me add this one. So here we go with the app.js file. Where DB? I just make it a wrong. So here we have the db.js file. Now we have to add this app.js file, right? So this is added. Okay, so auth part is there. Okay, auth routes are there. Everything is there. One thing that is not there, that is verify token. I need to take it from my previous code. So here we have the app.js file, right? So I, need, I will take the code from here function to verify that one. Okay, so let me copy this and add it the code over here. Auth.js, let me add this code, right? And here we need the token uh, JWT secret. So where we have the JWT secret. So let's add it the JWT secret over here. Void wrap this and let's check this one that everything is working or not. So let's go and run the code node app.js. So running on the port number 3000, let's go to the REST APIs now. So here we have the post. So first we will go with the register, uh, which port it is listening. That is 3000. So make it 3000 over here. First, we will do the register part. I think we have to add the auth because in the routes, I am adding the auth one. Okay. So here I will add the regni 90. And here I'm going to add the test 45. Okay, so let's try to send this request and the user registered successfully. Let's check this in our DB. So here we go with that test 44 is recorded over here with the password hash, right? Let's move to the next one with the login. Okay, so do the login one, login section, auth login. So you are getting the token right now. So let's validate this token and get the user information. So here we're going to add this token and let's try to get uh, 
what I'm okay. I think it's in the auth part, right? So let's auth and here I need the port to be 3000, right? Let's try to send this. And here you can see the username and the email password return. If I add something wrong over here, the token, invalid token will come, right? So let's dive into the code level of the app.js file to know more clear on that. So here you can see we have express by crypt json web token so all of these packages i have already installed so make sure it should be installed over here right so next one are already discussed right so here we have a router express router so first one is register part okay so here we are accepting the username email and the password request or body so these things are in the JSON format, right? Hash, we are using the bycrypt for hashing the passwords, okay? Then await db.execute, we are going to execute this one query with username, email, and the password. If it is added, then we are going to use a register successfully, okay? Message, if you want to return the user, you can also return the rows also, okay? Next, if something goes wrong, it will go with the error in registration and message server error. Go to the login one. Okay, so here we have the login one, the request.body. So here we are requesting to insert, select the record from the users where email is. So you need to send the email. If the length is zero, that means invalid credential, that means we are not getting the record. Okay, if, it, if we are getting the record, then we are going to match the password with a bycrypt compare. If the password is not matching, then you need to send that the invalid password or something or password does not match. <coughs> okay. Then if some if everything is goes right, then we are going to sign it with the JWT with the user ID, okay, and the secret key, and expires in whatever hour you can mention you can add over here and return the token, okay, and here console dot error that you're logging in error and the message server error with the status code 500. Last one that we have a user info. Okay, so first we are verifying the token first. So here we are verifying the token request dot header authorization. So here you can see that in the headers authorization, I'm passing the bearer token. Okay, so if the token is not there, that means SS denied. If the token is there, and then we are going to split the token with the spaces. Okay, one, then request dot user decoded. So first, and if something goes wrong, it will go that the invalid token or error in verifying the token, right? Okay, so in, in the request.user, we are going to retrieve the user ID. So retrieve that one and then select the user from the with the help of the user ID. Okay, if it is not there, that means user not found. If it is there, then we are going to return the record over here. Okay, and if something goes wrong, it will go to the catch block. And then after that last one, we are going to export that module router. Last one that we have an app.js file, we have a express body parser auth. Okay. So here we have a uh, route that is slash auth. So whatever to be registered, login and the user info done with the slash auth slash login slash register slash user info. Okay. And which port it's going to be listening. That is 3000 app dot listen port server is running on that port. So this is how you can achieve the full fledged you can say about the MySQL connection also, REST API also and user authentication with the MySQL, Node.js, JWT. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.